the Texas champion, do an open challenge. Whoever wants it can come try and take a shot. However, tonight, he called a shot. He says he wants Jacob fought too. But will Jacob show up is the question. We will find out. This is the one that he's called out. As you said, Kirby carry on. We've seen many people answer the challenge. This oh. is the first call out. Oh. And this, wow, look at that, listen to that ovation. and walk away with that victory that night. But this is actually the first time they are meeting one-on-one. -on -one. And this time, it's for the Texas Championship. Incredible. Summer of Champions continues. And Jacob Fatu, the Samoan werewolf, answers the open challenge of Ryan Davidson. Later on, his family, his family, his bloodline, if you will, Zilla Fatu will be making his in-ring debut, the son of Umaga. That's still to come here at the Summer of Champions. And they could walk out. It could be a Fatu fest when they walk out of here. A lot of the families here. I was going to say, yeah, a couple it might of be wins. A, a full party. <laughs> I would hate to be the after-hours establishment that that family <laughs> visits if we have a couple of Ws. All joking aside, the Samoan werewolf is just that. He is an absolute beast inside the squared circle. If this is your first time seeing him, you are in for a treat. Ryan Davidson, the cornerstone of this company, without a shadow of a doubt, the first Grand Slam champion, and the man who has defended that Texas championship month after month, week after week, show after show. And as you said, They've been in the ring with each other before, but never one-on-one. -on -one. And you can tell by that lockup and that separation, they felt each other out there. They were able to be like, okay, oh, I know what I'm getting in the ring with right now, just from that lockup. Control of the wrist from Ryan Davidson moves into a side headlock. Simone Werewolf bumps him off, double shoulder block. Both these guys got a lot of power. Now this is for the Texas Championship, and earlier you mentioned, Brad, that Ryan Davidson is the cornerstone of the reality of wrestling, but some might say that Jacob Fatu is actually the cornerstone of another company. That is MLW, as he did hold that championship, their main championship, for 819 days. Woo. That is an incredible run, and I have all, all due respect to that oh. promotion and their championship. The Texas title, one of the most sought after in one of the biggest states in the Union. Which is why we saw Jacob Fatu answer the call. Jacob Fatu likes a challenge much like Davidson. And, and this, I don't know if the ring is going to be able to contain these two with the aggression that they have here. It's any man's game at this point. The headbutt right there by Jacob Fatu. Incredible strength. 
know that the Samoans have the hardest headbutts in the entirety of the world. As now Jacob Fatu got caught by Ryan Davidson. Well, Jacob Fatu's father, the Tonga Kid, oh, had a similar hard headbutt. They have both men out to the floor right here in front oh of us. Ryan Davidson back to a vertical base first. Now the fight does continue on the outside, but they've got to watch out because they've only got up until the 10 to get back inside the ring. Otherwise, Ryan Davidson would keep that championship. And honestly, as, as much as I would like, oh, breaking the, breaking the count. Keeping it there on the outside. That is veteran expertise right there by Ryan Davidson. As now we see both men getting up on the apron perhaps trying to get back inside oh no. the ring. I don't think that's what's happening. Kirby is <laughs> clearly don't want to go anywhere. As Dave is biting him. He's biting him. Oh, oh. to the werewolf mentality right here in front of us. And now, oh! A Samoan drop on the floor out of here. The strength that it takes to lift up Ryan Davidson and drop him down like that. Amazing, amazing feat right there by the Samoan Werewolf. You can see the craze in Fatu's eyes. Well, what's, what started off like a battle between oh, two bulls, for lack of a better term, two beasts in their own right. Get this close, cameraman, because I'm about to be throwing his ass out. Oh! Oh! It looks like Jacob Fatu, a switch has flipped. What went from a friendly contest is now just a punishment from Jacob Fatu. Oh! Respect has gone out the window for your fellow competitor. It certainly has, but the respect that Ro Nation is showing to Fatu is not been lost yet. And the werewolf stalks the bear. A battle you think you'd only see in wooded areas or <laughs> forests or jungles has now come to us here in the middle of the Humble Civic Center in front of a record-breaking crowd at the reality of wrestling. Yes, and you can hear that, but Fatu gripping tight on the trapezius muscles there of Ryan Davidson. Spell trapezius. Just kidding, Brittany. <laughs> really, though, working at the neck of the bear, this is an unenviable position for the bear from Bel Air. Ryan Davidson, the ruthless one, normally dishing, dishing out the pain, finds himself the recipient. Will be able to dish it out. You've got to know how to take it, too. And Ryan Davidson's showing some strength. Oh. There you go. Oh, come on, Ryan. Ryan's finding his way back in this. Oh, back elbow. Oh, but just like that, Jacob Fatu able to get back into it. And now both men thinking the exact same thing. Either one of them really thought that one through. Now that is the type of fight you might see out in the woods, Brad. <laughs> Referee JT Stevens continuing the count up to three. If neither man gets back to their feet by the count of ten, this match will be counted as a no contest or maybe a draw, but regardless, Ryan Davidson would remain the Texas champion. You gotta imagine too though that they're thinking strategically to use as much of this 10 count as possible as the wind has literally been forced out of them by another body. Both men back up to a vertical base and here we go. The fight continues between these two beasts. Uh-oh, some bionic punches 
Coming from Ryan Davidson. Flip, flop, and oh! oh a cut off by the werewolf. Oh! Right to the schnoz. Oh. Inverted atomic drop. Oh my! And a slam. We know what's coming next, Brad. Looking oh. for that bear trap fist drop. Oh. There it is. A bear trap catching a werewolf. And once again, I think he's thinking some on drop, but Ryan Davidson saw it coming this time. Catches him. Oh! An exploder suplex into the corner, and now into the cover here. Two, is that gonna be it? No. Both competitors are showing the wounds of war right now. But Ryan Davidson seems to be in the driver's seat here. Uh-oh. He's feeling it. The elbow pad has come off. Think he's thinking Bear Lariat. Bear Lariat. Oh! He got caught with a super kick. The werewolf. Oh! oh Ryan Davidson. Ryan rolls him through. Looking for that Bear Lariat. And there it is. Turn him inside out. Cover. One, two, and no. No, two. Wow. That was a two. Thank you, Brad. Kicking out of the Bear Lariat is something that I'm not sure that I can recall ever seeing, let alone in recent memory. But we know what this is. Davidson looking to put the nail in this coffin. Oh! It sounds like we know who the Umbo Civic Center wants to win here tonight. Well, I think that might be the Fatu family. Yes, they, they have do come roll out. deep. Yes, they have come out in attendance here at Umbo. Oh, Row Nation always solidly behind the bear from Bel Air. I think I saw Fatu knock Ryan Davidson's mouthpiece out. It, yes, it is now laying on the apron. Now, what, are, what is he what thinking is, here? What is he doing? Oh From the top rope. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Jacob Fatu to the top rope. A senton. That's got to the cover for the Texas Championship. Two, Somehow, that was only a two count. After a top rep hurricane Rana, followed by a senton. Ryan Davidson is truly one of the all time greats in this company and in front of a record breaking crowd north of 1,000 individuals. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, but Brian holding on. Oh. Somehow Ryan still has a lot more in the tank, it seems, as he is just unloading on Jacob Fatu right now. Oh my goodness, this man does not quit.
found a way to get the shoulder up again. Jacob Fatu. I can't, I don't think Fatu can believe this. He has put away so many people with that combination. The pop of Samoan drop followed by the moonsault. That is usually the killing blow, oh. but not tonight. What is he doing? Fatu. What is he doing? Fatu going under the ring. What does he want? Oh Fatu. my god, he's got a chair. That's not Lee. This, this isn't a no DQ match. This is not no disqualification, but the frustration is clear and evident on the face of the Samoan werewolf. Oh. He's saying he's going to do whatever it takes, but Ryan Davidson putting a stop to it. Oh. Big kick there from the bear. This what Ryan Davidson. Ryan. Ryan Davidson. Top rope. The bear's gonna fly. Oh my gosh! Right in front of us. 275 plus off the top rope. I think the floor has been dented. Ryan's gotta get in. Ryan Davidson just hit it. Big frog splash. And now looking for the bear lariat. Can he do it with the with the damage on his body? Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What? Referee, I would get the hell out of the way if I were you. Jacob Fatu is exiting with the 